in downtown Buffalo, the city now taking action against the owner of the former AMNA's building. The famed department store on Main Street closed back in 1998, but has sat mostly idle ever since. In 2014, the building was bought by a company based out of New York City with plans to turn it into a hotel, but those plans never turned out. And recently, the city had to take over repair work that was posing a threat to public safety. Now city leaders are looking to place a lien on the property for that work. So today, I went down to Main Street where I spoke with a man who remembers when the building was a staple of downtown Buffalo. I also spoke with a local developer and DPW Commissioner Nate Martin about the next steps for this once celebrated building. For more than 50 years, attorney Anthony Abarno has walked right past the former AMNA's building to get to work and remembers the department store fondly. It was important, it was prosperous. But for years, the once celebrated staple of downtown Buffalo has sat idle. Abarno says it's become an eyesore. I'm sorry to see the condition it's in. I know there've been a few failed attempts to do something with it. I like to see them do something with it. And so would the city of Buffalo. We want that building to be engaged like every other building. Nate Martin is the commissioner of the city of Buffalo's Public Works Department, which just this week requested authorization from the Common Council to place a lien on the building for more than $682,000. That lien for work the city did in 2021 to close a section of Washington Street and repair an underground vault that was causing public safety concerns above. The DBW requested requested, worked with the owner of the property, requesting that they make those repairs. They did not make the repairs necessary from a safety perspective. So the DPW took on the ownership and performed that work. A little under $700,000 of work that we performed. Martin says the DPW has requested payment multiple times from the building's owner, 377 Main Street Realty, but those payments have not been received. So the city is taking action. The long-term goal was to have it be a vibrant part of our downtown. You, you, you would talk to anyone from a planning perspective, from the mayor's office, from our perspective. It's important that this building gets done. Rocco Termini is the president of Signature Development, which owns a portfolio of downtown real estate, including the hotel at the Lafayette, just down the street from am &As. The road here was closed for three years because they couldn't find the people that owned it or they were arguing over ownership and it's an eyesore for the whole street. Germany believes the action the city is taking is an encouraging sign. He says he's been working with city officials and a group of downtown business owners on securing the future of the AM&A's building. We meet monthly and we're discussing the next step which will ultimately be next year sometime uh, a eminent domain of the building and have a group a form that will then redevelop it. Now, I tried to reach 377 Main Realty, the listed owners of the AM&A's building for comment. When I called, I was told I had the wrong number and then hung up on. Follow-up calls were not answered and a message I left today was not returned. In the meantime, Termini hopes the future of the building includes new apartments and retail space. I'll keep you updated on any progress.